I'm just gonna throw out there and say that this might be my new favorite handlebar bag. In this video, I'm going to take a look at the Brevet bag by Ruthworks SF. Find out what I like and dislike about it in this video. Welcome back everybody. And if you're new to the channel, if you're into the non-competitive side of cycling, like gravel, exploring, touring, the supple life, you have found your people. And if you enjoy this content and you want to help support it, consider buying one of our new patches. We just got them a couple weeks ago and they've been selling like hotcakes. All the links to the patches are in the description below. So a couple of weeks ago, I interviewed Eli Rodriguez. He is the uh, creator behind Ruthworks and he specializes specifically in kind of classic uh, randoneering style bags. One bag of his that has always caught my eye is his Brevet bag. I bought one a couple of weeks ago and have been taking it through the paces and am ready to share my thoughts and feelings with you guys about this bag. Spoiler alert, it's pretty awesome. For such a relatively small bag, the Brevet bag actually has a fair amount uh, going on with it. There are actually three external pockets. You know, they're really narrow, but enough to kind of stuff in snacks or cash or receipts or whatever. There's a transparent window in the top where you can put in a cue sheet or even fit a phone. It's got a, a Velcro closure here on the back. On the inside, it's fairly uh, simple. There is the one kind of uh, sleeve pocket for a little bit of organization. Otherwise, it's just one big space. To attach this to your bag, there are two webbing straps that go around your handlebars. There's also space here for a third webbing strap which is meant to wrap around your head tube and to keep the bag shut there is an elastic uh, band here which is designed typically to go around the stem of your bike to keep the bag nice and stabilized there are these elastic uh, bungee cordage things that are meant to go on your drop bars these bungee straps do a great job at kind of stabilizing the load keeping it from rocking back and forth the brevet comes in uh, three different sizes. This is the smallest one. This is the original brevet. There is a middle size called the mica, which uh, is a little bit shorter, but kind of uh, thicker and wider, a little bit closer to the size of the Paloma bag by Swift Industries. And then there is a really large one called the Grand Maison. For my uses, the brevet bag is pretty good. I can put in a, a small point and shoot, a, a mirrorless camera, a GoPro and a chesty and some layers and food and snacks, everything I would need uh, to go on a day ride to film a bike review. And that's one of the reasons I really like this bag. I've been looking for a handlebar bag where I can carry uh, my really light minimal filming kit that I can move from bike to bike to bike without having to fuss with hardware. And this bag does that beautifully. So what are the things I like and dislike about this bag? Uh, the first big like is that there is no hardware. If you're a multiple bike owner and are looking for kind of a rando style uh, bag, granted uh, a fair bit smaller that you want to move from bike to bike to bike, but don't want to buy multiple racks or click fix devices, then the Brevet bag is definitely one to check out. Another big like is that it is surprisingly stable. There is a lot of tension that goes into these bungees and the bag as a whole is generally not swaying back and forth or side to side, if you pack it reasonably. I think with a light mirrorless camera or a point and shoot, probably not exceeding four pounds, then this bag will do really well. Another thing I really like is the quick access. It's pretty simple to uh, undo this elastic bungee, open it up, grab what you need and close it up. Or you can simply stick your hand in while you're moving, grab what you need. So if relatively quick access is important to you, then this is definitely a bag to check out. There's a lot to like. What are my dislikes with the bag? For me and this particular bag, this uh, elastic bungee is a little bit on the shorter side. I'm probably gonna replace it with something a little bit longer because as it is uh, a little tight to get on and off while moving. It's no big deal. I'm gonna go to REI, buy some elastic cordage and fix it. One other really minor dislike is actually uh, the webbing that's used to wrap around the head tube. I think I would have preferred if instead of a thick webbing strap like this, that Eli replace it with some uh, bungee cordage just because it keeps constant tension. And if you have a small bike with a small head tube, a bungee cord like this works its way around a lot easier than uh, a big web, a big wide webbing strap like this. You can also put electrical tape or rubber tape on the bungee on the bungee strap so it's less abrasive on your bike, rather than uh, the webbing. So after using the Brevet for a couple weeks, I think I would actually be a little bit happier with the next size up, which is the Mica. So just a little bit more room, and the Brevet doesn't 
quite fit uh, my road pump. It kind of sticks out the side, so that's kind of a bummer. I think with the Mica, there is there would be enough room where I could put my pump in comfortably. So the last con uh, for some is the price. You know, these bags are not cheap. They're handmade individually in the Bay Area. Uh, I believe the brevet is about $140 and then the prices vary depending on the size. But to my mind, definitely well worth it. And again, it's one of those bags you can move effortlessly and painlessly from bike to bike. So instead of buying many bags for all your, your bikes, you can just buy this one and uh, use it for your whole fleet. So I, I think in, in terms of that, it's, it's actually pretty good value. So let me know what you guys think. Are any of you guys uh, Ruthworks fans? Uh, if you guys wanna hear an interview with, with Eli, the maker of the bag, definitely check out our podcast on iTunes. If you guys have any other questions about the bag, leave those in the comments below. And as always, keep the supply side down.